Greetings. So today I'd like to speak to you about registering your Oyster card. Um, for some people that drive, they may drive in their personal time, but when it comes to their place of work or just day to day um, going into work, they prefer to use the train or the bus or the tram. So I'm just here to talk to you about registering your Oyster card, especially if you live in London. So this is your Oyster card. Most people don't register it, which is fine. Um, I was the same. I didn't register either of my Oyster cards. And a couple of times I lost them. And all the money that was on my Oyster cards got lost. And I was told that if I had registered my Oyster card and lost them, I wouldn't, I would have been able to transfer the money, like a bank card. So after that, I decided to register my Oyster card. And I wish I had done it earlier. And this is just... Um, some content for you just to see the benefits of registering the Oyster card. It's three. It's completely free to do, and yeah, there's no downsides really. So the first thing you need to do is to go online and create an account, and then you can either add your existing Oyster card or you can order a new one. So depending on what you want to do, you can either add your existing Oyster card to the account or order a new one. There is no limit on the amount of Oyster cards that you can have on your account. So potentially you could just order Oyster cards for everybody or just add everybody's Oyster card onto one account, whichever way you want to do it. If you decide you just want to add your existing Oyster, um, I believe you need to type in the user number, which is on the reverse side of this. If you turn it over, you'll see your user number. You just type in the number and you have to wait 24 hours and then it will ask you to confirm the journey you made in the previous 24 hours. And once you confirm the journey and what time you had the journey, it, your Oyster is registered. Or you can just order a new Oyster to be sent straight to your address. Once you do have your registered Oyster card, you can actually pay for it to be topped up online. You can even have an automatic um, top up service where it tops up automatically every week or every month. Or you can just decide to just do it yourself um, as and when. You can also see all your journeys and how much money you spent um, using your online account. What I realised is that it's always better to make sure you tap in and tap out. Otherwise, you, um, you're you charged the maximum amount. Sometimes you might tap in somewhere and then on your way out of the station, um, the gates might be open and you just might be tempted to walk straight through without tapping. But when you do that, it will just automatically charge you the, like the, the most amount that it probably didn't need to charge because it didn't recognize that you tapped out anywhere so another thing you can do is um another issue with your oyster cards is make sure you don't have a card clash which is when your oyster card is um, kept next to your bank card because sometimes when you tap it there is a chance it can actually remove money from your bank card instead of the Oyster so make sure you don't do a, a card clash and when you tap in or out make sure it's being kept away from your bank cards go online to top up your Oyster I believe it takes 30 minutes for it to load up so if I'm on the train somewhere and then I'm 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 making a journey, then I change my mind and I want to go somewhere else. I can just go online and top up my Oyster, but just be advised that it takes 30 minutes to, to load up. Um, on buses and trams, you only tap in. Okay, so on a bus or a tram, you just tap in. That's it. On everything else, you tap in and out. Sometimes it gets a bit complicated because... You might be on an overground train and then go into a station that has multiple stations, for example, Whitechapel, and you do need to look for the freestanding free card reader to tap out of the overground before you go upstairs and tap out of the main exit, otherwise it charges you maximum. All this information is online, all this information will be with your account. But the main thing I would say is to register your Oyster card so if you do lose it, 
they can just transfer the money elsewhere instead of completely losing your oyster as well as the money and as i said it can also give you access to all your online journeys how much you spent what time it was also it can sometimes prompt you um, to top up when it sees that maybe you're running low and there's also a, i think there's a cap a spend cap it can put onto your account so with this information i do recommend you to go online register your oyster or order one to the account thank you okay and obviously some stations don't use oyster some people watching this will be like what the heck is is an oyster if 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 you have no dealers of oyster don't worry about it just ignore this thank you bye